second problem prove that sin 21 degree cos 9 degree minus cos 84 degrees cos 6 degree equals to 1 by 4 Okay, let us do it. Now, take the left hand side. Sine twenty one degrees, cos nine degrees, minus cos eighty four degrees, and cos six degrees. Just observe, this is in the form of sine a cos b. sin a cos b means if you we have two sin a cos b that can be written as a sum of sin of a plus b plus sin of a minus b we can write this is two cos a cos b is there we can replace cos of a minus b plus cos of a plus b so that means we have to multiply with and two and divide by two so for our convenience this can be written half times Two sine twenty one cos nine degrees and minus two cos eighty four degrees and cos six degrees. Now this can be written of this is sine of twenty one degree plus nine degrees plus sine of Twenty-one degree minus nine degrees. And minus, we have this is cos of eighty-four degrees minus six degrees plus cos of eighty-four degrees minus six degrees plus six degrees. so bracket close let us simplify it half multiplied by sin 30 plus sin 12 degrees because 21 minus 9 this this is 84 minus 6 minus cos 78 degrees Minus into plus minus cos ninety degrees. Okay, now the sine thirty and cos ninety values we can write directly, but whereas cos seventy eight let us change. This is half multiplied by. So this is half plus sine seven twelve degrees and minus cos of Ninety degrees minus twelve degrees, and minus zero. What is cos ninety minus theta? Cos ninety minus theta is sine theta. So we have one by two multiplied by one by two plus sine twelve minus sine twelve zero. You can. Just leave it. We can delete it. Plus sine twelve minus sine twelve gets cancelled. We have half multiplied by half. So this is equal to one by four, which is equal to R H. This is to be required to be proved. Third problem. Find the value of sine thirty four degrees plus cos sixty four degrees. 
minus cos 4 degrees. Okay, let us find out. So, consider sin 34 degrees plus cos 64 degrees minus cos 4 degrees. So, last two terms consider this is in the form of cos c minus cos d. What is cos c minus cos d? Cos c minus cos d equals to minus 2 sin of c plus d by 2 and sin of c minus d by 2. Okay. Using this formula, we can write, we can transform sin 34 degrees, this will be minus 2 sin 64 degrees plus 4 degrees by 2, am I correct? And sin 64 degrees minus 4 degrees by 2, this is sin 34 degrees minus 2 sin, this will be 68 degrees by 2 sin of 60 degrees by 2. Now, sin 34 degrees minus 2 sin 34 degrees, this will be sin 30. Here, of all the values, can we write sin 30 degrees directly? Yes we can write sin 30 whose value is equal to 1 by 2. So, sin 34 degrees minus 2 sin 34 degrees multiplied by 1 by 2. This 2 1 ja 2 gets cancelled. We have sin 34 degrees minus sin 34 degrees. Both gets cancelled. We have 0 the value of this one is 0. So, let us move to the next problem. So, next problem, this is fourth one. Through that, through that cos square 76 degrees plus cos square 16 degrees minus cos 76 degrees into cos 16 degrees equals to 3 by 4. Okay. So, these kind of problems may be asked in competitive entrance examinations also. So, now Consider left hand side cos square 76 degrees plus cos square 16 degrees minus cos 76 degrees cos 16 degrees. Just check it, this will be in the form of cos square A plus cos square B. We do not have any formula for cos square A plus cos square B. Just think of we have the formula for cos square a minus sin square b or cos square b minus sin square a which equals to cos of a plus b into cos of a minus b which we have which we have discussed in earlier video sessions. So, now this cos square 16 can be changed in terms of sin. So, let us change it. So, cos square 76 degrees plus we can write 1 minus sin square 16 degrees and this is in the form of cos A cos B. We do not have directly formula for cos A cos B. We have the formula for 2 cos A cos B. So, why not we can change it as a 2 cos A cos B multiply 
with 2 and divide by 2. So, this can be written to apply the formula minus of into 2 times cos 76 degrees and cos 16 degrees. So, this can be rewritten as 1 plus cos square 76 degrees minus sin square 16 degrees and minus half times 2 cos 76 degrees and cos 16 degrees. Simultaneously these two values let us write. Now, this equals to 1 plus cos square A minus cos square B that is cos of A plus B cos 76 plus 16 into cos 76 minus 16 and minus half times this will be cos of 76 plus 16 and plus cos of 76 minus 16 cos of a plus b plus cos of a minus b. So, now let us write 1 plus cos 76 plus 16 how much that is 12 92 cos 92 am I correct? This will be cos 60 degrees and minus half multiplied by cos 92 and plus cos 60. Now, cos 60 can be written 1 by 2 this is 1 plus 1 by 2 multiplied by cos 92 and minus of cos 92 and minus of cos 60. So, these two gets cancelled. Just check the remaining terms we have only two terms one is 1 another one is minus of cos 60. Let us substitute cos 60 value that is half. So, we have 1 minus 1 by 2 into 1 by 2. So, this equals to 1 minus 1 by 4. 4 is the LCM 4 minus 1 this equal to 3 by 4 which equal to RHS. So, it is the value required to be proved.